Mm-hmm. Mm, maybe I don't understand this. You're changing, I can't stand this. My heart can't take this damage. And the way I feel can't stand it. Mm, maybe I don't understand this. I got a promise I made that daddy would always be there. But daddy been running the streets. I want you to know that I can. But daddy been running in beef. You know that your father is fed. But daddy gonna tell you the truth, so his daughter would never be scared. Don't go looking for no one like me. A good man go to school and he work. Don't be looking for thugs that's up in the club selling drugs and be popping them first. Represent me right. You and your sisters is tight. If one of y'all get in some trouble, remember y'all all gotta fight. I'm proud of you. Young woman I never had met. You was only four years old when I died and got shot and was stuck on the steps. And his parents as they'll always be there for me and they'll do what they need to do. Like in a recent video, um, I think it was on a Tevin stream recently, his father, you gotta understand, his pa when he first got the house in Seattle, his parents flew out there to paint the house, to fix any problems that he had around his house, because Phil's never owned a house before. They, they, did, all, they did all these things for him. Then they flew out, they flew out again to, um, to help repair a toilet. Man, why? Plumbing issue. Why do you have his parents come out to do that? Like, if your parents gonna come down to visit, they should come down to visit to be able to relax. To hey, parents, let me take y'all out to eat, or I cook y'all dinner. <clears throat> let Let's go out to do something. Don't worry about all that. Hey, man, I get paid. I will have all that fixed. I will have somebody come down and paint. Don't worry about that. I want y'all to relax in my home. <clears throat> Nah, Phil couldn't. Phil didn't want to pay the money. He, well, I'm guessing, but Phil probably didn't want to pay the money, and he trusts his parents. He, he expects his parents to take care of him. Now, here's the funny part. What's up, everyone? DSP here, and after a long week of my parents visiting from the state of Connecticut and coming to the state of Washington, we have completed many different home improvement efforts. I'd like to do a short video here showing some of these to you. First of all, this is Leanna's new office. And when I say new, I mean, holy crap, does this place look different now that it is blue. I mean, it used to be this ugly, ugly shade of orange. And we had a sectional uh, piece of our couch downstairs that didn't fit in our living room that always kind of stayed in the corner of her office that took up way too much room. Now it looks so much better and different. She's got her desk set up nicely. She hasn't fully set everything up yet. She's actually working on setting up the office. But... We still have the fan to get the nasty new paint smell out of here. It's probably still going to be here for like a week and we're going to have to keep running it. But it is nice for what it is, right? These, these new things she has here to store all of her gaming stuff and also her business stuff, which is excellent. She's got some nice succulent plants that my parents actually got for her to put into the office. And, uh, you know, it's a nice setup overall. She's even got her brand new PC, which we had to buy right before my parents arrived because her old PC died and she needs it for her business. So had to get her one. And, uh, you know, she also does gameplay and stuff for her YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, this is the new office, night and day from what it used to look like, and now the sectional that we used to have in here, we now can fit in the nook, because, if you're not aware, last year I spent a lot of time trying to sell my models, and or she made is our garage, and as you can see, Leanna's currently at work, so the car's not here, but it was always this right-hand side of the garage that was an absolute nightmare, all right? When we moved here, we had all these storage bins for moving all of our stuff here, and they were just sitting here in stacks to this high, blocking this whole area. In addition, tons of shit was left behind by the previous owners, tools, they used to do car work and stuff in here. It was an absolute nightmare. This garage was unworkable, there was shit everywhere. So my dad and I went through here one day, we took a whole day, and we basically threw out a ton of shit from the previous owners. We took the two of us to do it on a ladder, but we got all of the storage bins up in this upper level of storage, so now I can actually use stuff. And it's amazing, because now we've got this workbench, right? This now is somewhere where Leanna can do some stuff with her soap making. We actually got some soap making ingredients and stuff up here. Down here we've got her gardening stuff now, all kind of set up in these drawers, or these up drawer, your drawer and, and your cabinet. I've actually finally, for the first time ever, I've got somewhere to put tools and stuff for the house. So I can actually do my own kind of thing. Look, my own kind of stuff. I can actually use the stuff in the garage. I've lived here for two years and never been able to do it, if you can believe it. But in addition to that, this is stuff we got to get rid of. This is stuff left behind by the previous owners. Paint cans with only a little bit of paint in them. So I have to open them up and dry them out so I can throw them out. Old fire extinguishers that I have to do research on how to dispose of them. And these two waste basket things. I'm going to probably have to chop up or something. I don't know. But the coolest thing is, I can finally use these storage lockers. 
Finally, they're emptied of all the shit that these previous owners had in them. And now we go to Sam's Club. Look, we bought in bulk. We buy things like paper towels, things like paper plates and stuff. We put them at the bottom there. We've got, you know, a yard hose, some Italian ices we just bought at Sam's Club last night. We're going to use for the summer. Some different, you know, holiday things we used to decorate outside. And we actually have somewhere to freaking put them now. I can't believe, you know, I've, again, two years I've lived here. I haven't been able to use anything in the garage because it was a mess. And my dad hooked me up, well, didn't really hook me up, he helped me out to clean it out. This is all the leftovers from the home improvements we did, up here anyway. That's our leftovers. This is leftovers from the previous owner. Left all kinds of paint, paint rollers and shit, and we didn't know. But we found that after we finished painting Leanna's office, we're like, well, if we're going to paint again, we'll use it. Can't, entire cans, unopened cans of white paint they left in here. So, whatever. But anyway, that's the kind of the paint slash chemical locker. And yeah, I mean, let's get... Friends helped us with the backyard. Take a look out here. So, we actually had these plants already. They were already set up and growing here. But the problem was we had a ton of weeds that kept creeping through these stones that we have in the backyard here, and it was really annoying. And in addition, we had some stuff going on over here with weeding and all these plants. In fact, this, I didn't even know this, because I usually don't come out here. It's more Leanna's thing. This shrub had overgrown into our exhaust. This is the exhaust for the fireplace. Now, right now, we're not using it. But if in the winter, if this thing was in there and we turned it on, the whole thing could have went on fire. My parents noticed that, thank God. So they came out here and they weeded, and they also bought this really heavy-duty uh, Roundup weed killer, which I didn't didn't know what the good stuff was. They got it. They sprayed everything. They showed me how to use it. They said, you know, come out here, you know, a couple times during the summer and spray all that stuff and make sure it's all dead. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. In fact, already, look, they already sprayed. And look, already there's sprouts. Look. That's a freaking new one. They just sprayed. And there's already a new one. <laughs> Unbelievable. So probably a couple times a month I'll be out here spraying with the weed killer. But pretty nice. Take a look what they did. You know, they, they, we didn't have any. Of it. They bought us, you know, a few cheap things. And they were sitting out here all week doing stuff. You know, they were sitting out here. My mom smoked. She was having cigarettes out here. They were having drinks. Which is funny because it rains a lot here in Washington. They just happened to be here at a time when it was, like, hot and sunny uh, for a few days. So, so that was nice of them. They cleaned a lot up. They helped us out. They taught me a lot of stuff about painting in his office, about, guard, you know, the garden out here. We're not really garden, but the stuff out here with the weeds. Stuff that I don't know. You know, because I used to live with them. They did all of that. And then, you know, I lived in the condo in Connecticut. Didn't have a backyard. You know, I just had a back deck where I didn't have any of this. So I didn't have the knowledge to really, you know, know any of that kind of stuff. And it was awesome that they spent the time to come out. And, you know, I took the time off of work to, to uh, do stuff with them and learn all that. So it was a pretty awesome week. So, you know, overall, outside of that, the house is the same pretty much. Um, the only other thing that we actually did was my giant Blu-ray collection, right? The only other thing that we did was that here in the living room... Uh, I always, at night, I always sit on this cushion of the sectional couch. Here's the funny part. Well, not funny, but here's the interesting part. Mm -hmm. um, Phil, Phil's parents uh, live, still live in Connecticut, right? Mm. And they live about, and they live about 20, maybe between 15 and a half hour away from where his condo is. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm dead ass serious. They still live in Connecticut. They live about 15 to about a half hour away from where Phil Phil's condo was. Phil says that his parents couldn't take care of his condo anymore after his aunt left because his aunt kept getting injured in his condo. Um, she kept falling. They couldn't take care of his condo anymore because his parents were getting up there in age. Okay, fair enough. But yet you flew your parents, or not even you flew your parents out. Your father or your parents flew out to Washington to make repairs on your house. That's Yeah. Because if your father was going to uh, do any repairs, it should have been to go down to the condo to make sure everything's okay with that. So when it's time for you to finally sell us under a bitch, everything would have been good. And the money that was left over from that condo, I wouldn't even take it. I would have gave it to my parents since they exactly. kept up with it. Exactly. You break off. You break off some money to your parents for being like, "Hey, thank you for coming through and helping me out with all this." You know, just a, just a little something for you guys. You know what I mean? I, I appreciate it. A mm -hmm. decent human being would do that. So <laughs> Phil was. So Phil can have his parents fly back and forth across country to help him with stuff at the house that he could have painted. He could have paid. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. paid a professional to handle. But you. But you're saying that your parents couldn't go to your condo. And take care of your condo for you because they're getting up there in age. What? That don't even make sense. <laughs> that that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it really don't. It really don't. Bruh. Oh, oh, my mind. <laughs> it blows my oh, mind. 
Um, with Wayne's redemption, do you think that he will? Um, <clears throat> oh, he's supposed to go through another surgery since um the Mexico trip. It was to take off the weight, so when he come back to America, he could hit the other um surgery. The yes. Do you think he's going to be successful at this? Um, I hope he is. To be honest with you, I don't wish failure on no one, not even DSP. Yeah. Um, I hope he's. I hope it's successful. I oh. hope it's successful. My thing is though is that I don't think his end game is going to work out the way he wants it to. Because <coughs> um, I noticed that you do need to even after you get life session, you need to keep. Oh, one he got half his stomach cut out, didn't he? Yeah, he got like some gastro bypass surgery or something like that. I don't oh. know if that's the exact process, but it's like he doesn't have like a rubber band around his belly, around his stomach to make it smaller. Like I think they actually cut a portion of it off or out. I should I, say. I don't like that idea at all. You might as well should have just <clears throat> took the risk of having life full such. Hey, Lilo, thank you for subscribing, dude. Thank you for the twenty five dollars, dude. Because his viewers are brain dead. Thank you, man. Appreciate it brother um when am i gonna start my diet probably monday um. <laughs> 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 all right guys i think i'm enjoying too much of the shit huh probably gonna start on my diet monday because like i'll probably go monday to my mother's house call the um my coordinator and and probably put the uh, the stuff down for my. I got I gotta pay I gotta pay a deposit for my surgery. I have to call and push my. I have to call and cancel the bariatric surgery. Um, but this does not mean I'm not getting it. It just means that I'm. It's going to be pushed back to sometime in the summer. Um, and this is going to upset a lot of people, um, mainly trolls, at this point. Because I feel like people that honestly care about me will understand that my health should be the paramount. And I don't want to risk um, going under anesthesia in a foreign country with a possible heart problem. Which I think is half. My surgery is going to cost about $6,125. Somewhere in that ballpark. That's not the exact number, but somewhere in that ballpark. And... And, um, I gotta put half of that down that's non-refundable and at that point I have 90 days to lose the 40 pounds I just can't take this nigga serious god damn surgery if not just work your ass off mm. but see and that's and i'm glad you brought that up because when it comes to wings and it comes to people who are heavy like that you have to understand that the problem isn't just physical it's psychological yes when when phil i mean i feel sorry when wings gets into a bad spot he gets nervous when he gets nervous he gets anxious when he gets anxious he eats Mm -hmm. That's his coping mechanism. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And in, 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 in the United States, at least to my understanding, I don't know, I'm not a big guy like that, but uh, mm -hmm. it's to my understanding that they you get um, you get counseling to help you mentally be ready for what's going to come next. You have to mentally be prepared for situations like that before you even go into surgery. Now, keep in mind, Winks talked about this. He's talked about going to these different type of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, seminars, these yes. different type of seminars, these different type of groups, and so on and so forth, to prepare himself for what happens after the surgery. The problem is, is Wings needs to get off the goddamn internet. He needs to stay away from streaming. <coughs> YouTube, his YouTube is damn near non-existent. 
but he needs to stay away from twi- um, from streaming. He well, has to completely tear himself away from it. Well, can he do that when that's his source of income? Well, that's another interesting thing. So when he got the surgery, well, when he was raising the money for the surgery, I can't remember if it was $25,000 that they ended up raising for him or was it 15000 I can't remember how much it was. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, let's say it's 25000 but I can't remember for sure. He got $25,000 for the surgery. Like I said, I don't know for sure, so please don't hold me to that. Yes. And then he ended, up, he ended up raising an additional twelve to $15,000 as a nest egg, so to speak. Kind of like a cushioning for his time away from work, if that makes sense. So theoretically, he already has the money put, put aside for that. That he can sustain himself for a little while. You know what I mean? Yes. So why, so why isn't he doing it? Prob- probably just don't want to or just lazy? I, uh, Wings says that after he, he gets all the surgeries, after, after he loses all the weight, mm-hmm. he wants to walk away from the internet. He wants to get a real job. I think he says he wants to go back to school to become like an, an EMT or something. He <clears> wants <throat> to completely leave the internet behind I think that's going to be a very slow process, but if he put his mind up to it, he can, but I don't think that's going to be a one-day job. I don't think he's going to be able to do that. Yeah, it won't happen overnight. And I think Wings is real realistic enough to know that. It's certainly not going to happen overnight, but I think that... I think... I don't know if he can do it. Because this is news, if you think about it. Mm-hmm. It's just like it's a lot like DSP. It's all, this is all he knows. Hmm. He doesn't know how to do anything else. So you're so even though he's motivated and he seems to have a plan in some way, yes. just starting over. I don't know if he can. Um. So over. So overall, from back to the title of this video. Yeah. Because <laughs> I ain't trying to take it too much of your time. We at the two hour mark. Who do you? Okay. Th- <laughs> Who do you think is the absolutely worse? Um, it's DSP by far. DSP? DSP by far is the worst. Wings, in some way, shape, or form, does have some redeeming qualities about himself. And even amongst his detractors, they see it. You know what I mean? Even though they mess with him, they see it. They see that Wings could change himself if he really, really wanted to. Yes. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Um, the fact that sometimes that he's able to have a conversation with with them without somebody keep cursing at him, yelling at him. Because I've seen the I've seen a vi- uh, few videos where he was able to have a decent conversation for twenty or thirty minutes before some dumbass come on, totally disrespect him, and he just jumps off, which he had a right to. But with DSP, nah, but I'm half to Silver Spring. God damn it! <laughs> Sorry, that was text message. But yeah, with DSP, you won't get, you'll never get that progress, ever. No, no, and, never. Mm-hmm. He just, he just doesn't have it in him. He really doesn't. He <laughs> would mm-hmm. rather, he would rather be dragged. He would rather be dragged to the job, kicking and screaming and and scre- and just. Lashing a bloody murder before he was a man about it and do it because he needs to. Mm -hmm. He sadly will lose everything, everything before he comes before he decides to change. And and I can and I can tell you this: there's no detractor that wishes that on him. But no, I I wouldn't either. Yeah, and and no one should wish that on anybody. But that's what's going to end up happening at the worst at the (laughs) worst case scenario. And um, in case this video ever gets to Wings or any of his detractors, I do hope that everything goes well, well with you, that you have a speedy recovery, that you come back to YouTube or Twitch. I'm not sure what platform he's on. But I hope that everything goes very well with him, that he do lose the weight, and that he does become a successful um, member of the society. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I really do. Yeah. Um, Excuse me. What games would you be playing? What games have you been playing lately? 
lately, um, I've been on my Dragon Ball Fighters, my Dragon Ball Fighter Z, my Street Fighter 30th anniversary, um, Overwatch, uh, Fortnite, and I actually started getting back to playing Hearthstone again. That is what's up. Had the rules up. Have you fought him on it? No, I have not run into DSP at all. Damn. I have not run into DSP at all. It's disappointing. <laughs> I have had a chance, though, to play some, um, I guess you could say, play some really notable players in, uh, back in Phil's day who kind of messed around. They're, mm-hmm. the, the, the videos that you see of them online does not do them justice. Like, oh, the real? mind games that a lot of these guys are able to play online mm-hmm. is also next level shit. And I've learned a lot. And they've been super cool about it. Like, I messaged them, and I'm like, hey, is this really you? And they're like, yeah, man. And I'll be like, hey, man, I've, you know, I've, I've seen some of your, like, uh, your, like, fighting, your tournament footage. Hey, man, you're really good, and so on and so forth. Can you give me some pointers? Sure, no problem. Like, right over PSN, they'll be like, hey, man, uh, this is what I saw. You work on this, man. You can get better if you ever want to, man. Hit me up, and I'll get some matches in with you. Mm. Both players are really cool. Because <laughs> um, I really want to know, is DSP really shit in fighting games? Or is it really just a, um, what is the word he used? Because he said he's not really that bad at fighting games. It's just to get people to laugh or whatnot. Damn it! He used it as a gimmick when he complained about the um, internet and that the controller's not working. <clears throat> is it really a gimmick or he just really shit at video games? I'm really glad you brought that up. So are we talking <laughs> about video games in general or are we talking about fighting games? I actually, um, go hand in hand, actually, because he acts the same way with all video games. <laughs> all right. Well, fighting games, I I had made a video maybe two days ago, or I had a video that went up two days ago, I should say. You know me. I'm late with all my stuff. And, yes. um, and uh, I actually said that Phil is, especially now, but Phil isn't a good player. There's no way he could have beaten a Justin Wong or something along those lines. Now, I think I was referring to 2005 DSP, but in any case, I was wrong. So before you, before you and me decided to embark on this on this uh, on this podcast, essentially, <laughs> uh-huh. I actually I actually got into a conversation with someone on Twitter, and they slid into my DMs, and they were like, "Hey, man, is it true?" You know, I'm, he was like, "Yo, I'm a big fan of your content, whatever, whatever, yada yada." Is it true that Phil was really garbage back in his day? And I had referred him to a couple of videos and I was looking and he asked me about something else too. Um, he asked me about something else also, but he's like, was he really bad at, at fighting games back in his day? And I said, no, I said in 2007, there was Evo East where he did pretty well. And I said, I think he beat Justin that year. And then I immediately thought to myself, I was like, oh shit, he did. He did beat Justin Wong at an Evo at an Evo East event i should say it wasn't at the actual evo in las vegas but it was like an evo qualifier in on the east coast he did beat justin in um he beat him in a was it super turbo i can't remember but i found the video and i linked it to him and he was like oh shit and he's like yo man thank you very much and everything like that and i was like hey man i'm sorry i gave you false information in that video Mm -hmm. and i'll rectify it he was like no 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 you're good you're good and if I don't know if dude will ever hear this, but I'm going to make the video and I'll put it in my video that I need to rectify it because he did beat Justin Wong. He beat him with Barog in like at, at like 2007 at an Evo at an Evo East event. Thank <laughs> you. 
Justin, did you did you have any more honorable uh, dishonorable mentions? Um, hmm. I guess I would agree with you with DSP. Yeah, my like, boy. Because what DSP does, uh, like in person, he's all nice to me and shit. But in per and then when he makes a YouTube video, he he thinks he's all hard and crap. Uh huh. So that's what gets me pissed off. Like, do you guys remember the whole thing with DSP and like? Like with the West Coast people, where they almost like he he was like really scared because he was about to get beat up. He Evo was about to get roughed up. Yeah, I remember that in San I think, Diego. I think Jaha approached him at Evo or something, right? Evo West. Evo West was at the San Diego yeah. defense. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think like Jaha and like Watson were like looking for him if he ever came down to one of the Evo events or something. Yeah. So like he was like, I heard he was like crying and everything. So that was pretty, <laughs> pretty funny. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> John, um, in 2005, I think it was, the three of you were absent from ST Top uh, 8. What happened that year? <laughs> you can defer that question if you'd like. I, I think it was a combination of, I think it was the first console ST that we played on for a while. And we just kind of took it lightly, thinking that it's pretty much the same as arcade. So I really didn't get that version, got out of the way to get it and practice on it. And when we actually got there, it was, I mean, it, was, it wasn't that different, but the minor differences were enough to throw us off. And yeah, I lost really fast, and then so did everybody It was probably else. on Turbo 3 or something, you know? So yeah, it was just a little bit different than what we're used to. So, But after that, I kind of learned my lesson to always get the version that they're going to play on. Because you can't just assume that everything's going to be exactly as, as you remember. So, uh, and How about you, Mike? What happened that year for you? Is that the year PlayStation One was involved? Can we be real specific, or do you not know? I, I don't. I, there was a problem. I think it was the PlayStation version. Because yeah. when you play Bison and you hit a fierce flame and it only goes like twenty percent of the screen, you got a problem with the game. And you got some that's the answer I was looking for. You got some idiot named DSP who's <laughs> a total piece of shit, by the way. I like to I like to get that on YouTube, but. But this guy thought he was hot shit because he beat me and Choi in a game that was like, it's like fucking Neo Geo conversion of Street Fighter or some <laughs> crap, dude. <laughs> and, he, and he was so proud that he put under as a signature, he's the number one US ranked Super Turbo player that year. But I mean, look at him now. I mean, he's just... No, he's got 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. 20,000 20, idiots are subscribed to him. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations with your YouTube channel and... Uh, Hope you enjoy your life, bro. I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it's a great victory. PlayStation 1 Super Turbo Champion. You, no, take, that, take that to your grave, bro. Good luck. <laughs> Alex, what is, um, what is the Street Fighter community, uh, especially the EVO tournament, going to look like three years from now, you think? Uh, Are you, that video. Do, you have a, do you have a copy of that video? Or, uh, I, can yeah. I can send it to you. I can All right, send it to you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll send, it, I'll send it to you. And if you look at that video, he, and if you look at the comment section, back in his day, he wasn't bad. He really wasn't. He was a decent player, like I said he was. Um, he was pretty good, to be honest. But over time, he did take care of himself, and eventually, all of the skills dissipated. You know what I mean? 
Yes. Just like a and basketball so, player can no longer keep saying that he's the best this, that, and the other when he haven't played basketball or trained in such, such amount of years. Exactly. And so back in his day, yeah, he had some he had some notable wins. And no one can take that away from him. Even now, I can't take that away from him. But what I'm saying is, is he can't say he was the best. That whole best in the United States thing, he can't say that. Mm. He just can't do it. Especially when you're still holding your hat on this shitty port of a, of a game. <laughs> and you, you, can't, you just can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not willing to let it slide on that. <laughs> well, he can't say that he's the best in the United States because uh, when he made it to fourth place, that's all it was was just um, Japanese players or people that yes. wasn't in the United States. <clears throat> but that's exactly right. The top three players were Japanese that year, so he said he was the number one ranked American Super Turbo player. <laughs> <laughs> but he he does he is kind of telling the truth. <clears throat> He they, is, and, and don't be wrong. He is, but you got to understand too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there are people, there are pro players who boycotted the game. You're talking about the upper echelon of the of the Street Fighter community at that time. Were like, no, we're not going to play this game because the game is terrible. It's incons- all the, the the complaints that he has about um, 30th anniversary collection mm-hmm. are some of the same complaints that people were talking about in in that port of Super Turbo. It's inconsistent. Move properties are all crazy. Inconsistent damage. This, that, and the third. Everything that Phil complains about now, almost, was some of the same things they were talking about the port that he took forth in. So, even though he took forth, no one can ever take that from him. No one can ever take that from him. There's a, a type of respect, maybe even a type of etiquette that he missed out on. When he decided to run around and say, I'm the number one ranked Super Turbo player. When the majority, the lion's share of American players didn't even go to that event. Or didn't participate in that tournament. Damn. You know oh. and, Phil won't, and Phil won't fill you in on those, those, on those details. Mm, because the complaints I keep hearing is, the, um, for the last game I seen him play with Tree Fighter was the, uh, the characters moving too fast. Uh, moves yes. not coming in correct correctly that this is a PC that this is a PC port but you're saying that this is the same port that was played when he became number f- uh, number four or number one it's, his not the same, it's not the same port um, you, you, Street Fighter always has, has has a bunch of different ports mm-hmm. Just they just have a multitude of crazy versions to games the, the 30th anniversary port is it's wonky but it's not terrible. It's not horrible. Phil's main complaint is he doesn't like the movement speed. It's too fast for him. The reason why is because his reactions and reflexes aren't there. <laughs> DSP, DSP eight years ago wouldn't have complained about that. Pure and simple. DSP eight years ago wouldn't have said nothing about it. The port that DSP um, played on at that Evo that year was just a shitty port. It's not the same port as now. It was just a really bad PS1 port that no one respected because the port was garbage. Mm -hmm. And Phil knew that because Phil was on SRK. He knew how bad the port was. He saw the people who took the uh, the time to detail in their posts what's wrong with each one of these, what's wrong with each character, what's wrong with certain hit properties and stuff. He knows all that. And that's why he grinded the game so damn hard. Because he knew that some of the top players weren't going to show up that year. He knew what some of the exploits were. Mm-hmm. He just couldn't beat the Japanese players. Gotcha. <laughs> that, that is kind of sad. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Why did he stop playing Overwatch or why he's not taking the time to play Overwatch again with Kate? Because I think that would have been pretty cool since she comes home from pl- from um, the gym or work. She plays Overwatch. Wouldn't it be cool for them to sit down and play Overwatch together? Um, it should. I think Kat originally was playing Overwatch on PC. And um, according to, to Phil Lore, the PC, his PC is a... Well, his PC is a lemon. So if it does play, it won't play as well as he'd want it to. But um, Phil's lazy at the end of the day. Mm. Phil's just out and out lazy. 
Because uh, before she moved in, it was just so much plans that, yeah, we're going to play games together. We're going to uh, bring back uh, cooking with the king so she could cook with, with me. And it's going to be so, it was so much plans that now she's in. It's like, mm -mm, nope. I don't see no games that we want to play. Now nah, we're not bringing um back cooking with the king. And like, God damn, your parents are, your fans is actually was willing to pay for all this. What the fuck happened? What happened was is he he wrote checks his ass couldn't cash because this goes back to our early conversation mm -hmm. when you strung her up to get so paranoid that she left all of her social media and all this stuff right. Yes, and then. You and then you promised your fans, oh, well, when she gets here, we're going to do this, that, and the third. All of a sudden, she was apprehensive. She got there. And she was like, uh, I don't know if I really want to do this. You told me that these people would judge me. These people would do this, that, and the third. You told me that these people were going to stalk me and my family if they ever found me out. So why do you want me to do videos with you now? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> he screwed, yes. screwed himself. He screwed himself. Wow. Wow. Um, any uh, any questions would you like to ask me? Oh yeah, actually, man. Uh, to be honest with you, how did you actually get um exposed to DSP? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, uh, you know what? I had told you some misinformation. Uh, that I was f watching his videos. Actually, I remember that this dude named Main Event TV, Me TV. I'm sure you see the title already. What this is about? That's how this all started. Let me talk about this. All right, this all started because of. You fans, okay? Because I remember not too long ago, I liked the video of DSPs where he was talking about how YouTube is pushing higher YouTubers, you know what I mean, in the recommendation section over smaller YouTubers when it comes to competition-wise and money. He was talking about that. He was absolutely right about that. He was. So I liked the video. When I did that, a number of you contacted me and was like, why are you liking this guy's video? You're above him. You shouldn't be agreeing with him. And I said, well, he's right about, you know, monetization and things of that nature and pushing bigger YouTubers in the limelight. And you people were like, but he's still a piece of shit. And I said, I really don't know the guy. I don't watch his videos. I came across that video and that was it. I didn't see his videos before that. And then you people started showing me videos. You started sending me videos of them and saying, this is why we don't like DSP gaming. And the more I watched this guy's videos, the more I understood why you hate him, and I began to hate him as well. And I'm getting tired of this guy's trolling, immaturity. It's going to, I'm calling you out today. Let's get started on this. Because you know what? It seems like people don't understand what this is all about and how this affects the community. So let's start with his bullshit. Hello, everyone. I'm Darkside Phil, or DSP for short, and welcome to DSP Gaming. Now, if you're actually seeing this video, it means that you're not currently a subscriber of the channel. And what I'd like to do is explain a little bit about myself, what I'm all about, and what the channel is. Uh, I myself am a former pro fighting game player. Uh, I myself am a former pro fighting game player. Uh, I myself am a former pro fighting game player. Now, hold up. Since you say you're a pro fighting game player, okay? That means you've been sponsored in tournaments to play and win, right? Because there's a difference between being a pro who's sponsored and just a regular tournament player. There's a difference, all right? I'm just saying that now. But since you say that you are a pro player, you would know the basics on how to block and how to attack and timing and things of that nature, right? So, you know what? Let's just see how good you are since you're a pro at these games. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead. It doesn't even make sense. Why did it hit me? Why did it hit you? Oh, it's this simple. Because you were blocking high when your opponent was attacking you low. You know what that means? That means it broke your guard completely and he hit you with the Hadouken at the end. Now, you can probably try and scream chip damage all you want, but in this case, it doesn't apply because he was working the combo against you and you got caught. You defended improperly. So sit here and complaining about how it hits you when you don't know the basics. Obviously, seems you don't know the basics of this stuff. You should just suck it up and realize you're not that good. <laughs> this game is so broken. This is why the game is not good for tournament play. 58% regular combo because my guy is laggy online and gets hit by a random fucking hit. Whatever. So dumb. So I guess your definition of fun is only when you win. You know, I find it funny that you will call other people a waste of life for playing online when you're playing online yourself. Not to mention, this is how you make your money on YouTube full time. At one point, you had seven channels going on. 
So DSP Gaming, Mr. Full Time, how about this? I'll raise the stakes even a little higher. Loser goes off of social media completely. No more videos, no more Twitter, no more Facebook, nothing. How about that? I'll give you time to prepare. See, that's the difference. I'm willing to put my channel up and everything else up to get rid of scum like you in this gaming community. That's the difference. Do you have the heart to do the same thing? That's what I'm wondering. Because I put it like this. I'm hearing that, you know, you're partnered with Machinima. Machinima, do you want someone like this representing your label? You gotta be kidding me. And your fans that you have, people who try to advocate this because it's entertainment, you need to take a good long look in the mirror and realize that if you think that this is okay, this type of behavior that hinders the community is okay, you are part of the problem. It is disgusting that we have to deal with this. And now you know why people hate you, DSP. It's not a secret. I'm just getting around to it because I had other things I had to do. But you are the first of many I'm going after. I hope people see this. Like I said, and you fans, don't come in here trying to berate me because I, I find it funny that you can come over and trash me and berate me and get in groups and do these type of things. But you can't get together in groups for causes. You can't get the groups, you know, get together in groups to fix issues. It tells me a lot about you. I'm done here. You know what? I'll leave you with this. Because apparently I'm going to be the bad guy in this. I'll just leave you with this part. Do you want to play the fucking game? Seriously, just kill me. Here, I'm just going to walk forward. You can just keep shooting my body. Come on, keep hitting me, asshole. Come on, you fucking idiot. Come on. Keep hitting me. Here, earn your win. Oh, you're so good. I'm going to let you fucking win so that you can waste your fucking life playing other people. Because I actually like playing fighting games, you fucking idiot. Get your perfect, because this is how you want to win. So go ahead. Go ahead. No, you're the bitch, because you don't play a fucking fighting game, you stupid oh. cocksucker. Your mother probably shat you out, you fucking piece of shit. Learn how to fucking play a game and be an honorable fucking player. Learn how to fucking play a game and be an honorable fucking player. Learn how to fucking play a game and be an honorable fucking player. So now, you can live in your- as you live in your mom's basement, you can celebrate by eating your whole fucking bag of Doritos and chugging down your fucking Fanta, cause you gotta win with Deathstroke, you're so good, cause you rock back and shot bullets. Learn how to fucking play a game and be an honorable fucking player. <laughs> oh shit, I watch- uh, does he still make videos? Uh, last video I seen him make was- Think was last last month or two months ago about video games, but he more is doing sports related stuff. Oh, or Twitter, uh, okay. Oh no, go ahead, go ahead. I, I still talk. I was going to my profile. Yeah, because on Twitter I see him um, doing box boxing matches, which I'm really happy for him doing what he loved to do. <clears throat> yeah, he's on um, main events from Philly. Yeah. Yep. Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, also, I, I like I like main event. Main event actually is um he if it wasn't for him, well mm -hmm. I wouldn't say if it wasn't for him, but he started really started uh, getting me to watch other people like um like uh, it's a Gundam, um L of the Day, people who kind of report on stuff like that. Okay, um it was the video of main event made. Where DSP had disrespected somebody in the fighting game community. No, no, I'm sorry. DSP said something about the fighting game community. Main event agreed on Twitter. And then people was like, well, fuck you agreeing for it. He's a piece of shit. Well, because I agree with him. But he's still a piece of shit. And so when <laughs> main event went further down the rabbit hole, he like, this motherfucker is a piece of shit <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, it was the. I'm sorry. What was it that they agreed on? What was it that DSP said that they agreed on? Um, it was something about the fighting game community, uh, how they was treating people. I don't have the video up. When I edit this, I will put main events part in it, and I will give him credit on Twitter. I do not need the backlash. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. So, okay. So that's just some of your background. Um. <laughs> When did you start getting into, like, the detractor community, I guess? Dog, people was just... When I typed in DSP and people was going at this man, I I was at home days just... Dad, this is funny as 
fuck. And he just kept digging his own hole. <coughs> so right now with DSP is make is trying to make a reaction video to his own video. That dog don't want to watch that shit. I want to see him make reaction videos of detractive videos, man. I, would, I, I myself would take fifty dollars out of my savings account to watch to pay this man to do that shit. Yeah, I want to see him do it too. <laughs> <laughs> so when main event goes after people, and oh my god, the one thing that made me continue to watch the drama and beef is when DSP. I mean, not DSP. Main event Me TV put out the challenge. DSP face me since you want to talk all this shit. Put Panda Lee in the midst, and Panda Lee should have never jumped in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. He challenged DSP to a Street Fighter match, Street Fighter Four, I believe. And DSP, mm -mm, I'm not, I'm not going to fight you for him. Yeah, I can send you that video. The video. <clears throat> I'm not going to fight you and lose my damn channel because he wanted to put up main event was going to put up his channel if DSP put up his channel. And DSP backed out. <coughs> and then, um, it I th actually responded. And I put it like this Ever since I did the video from last week, fans of DSP have been crying because of my challenge to their hero. Well, look, I put it like this You might as well call me Travis Touchdown today because if you didn't like last week's video, you definitely not gonna like this week's video, all right? Because I put it like this I'm gonna put it down today, and we're gonna get through all the lies. All the bullshit. So, once again, you fans of DSP could not defend any of this. I have a lot to say to you fans at the end of this video as well. Because you should be ashamed of yourself. So, since this coward wants to back down from my challenge. And that's exactly what he did, alright? He tried to dismiss me with a bunch of garbage and assumptions and name calling, alright? Without providing any evidence. No. What I get is a tweet. That some guy has has made a video saying that I'm a racist and calling me out in the fighting game community. That I have no credit just calling myself a pro fighting game player. Like, what? <laughs> this is what people are talking about. <clears throat> what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Why the fuck would I care? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why would I care about that? I haven't been in the competitive fighting game community in how long? When was the last time I entered a tournament of any sort? You know? I love fighting games. I have expertise in them. I've competed in tournaments. I'm a tournament winner. I've been, you know, I've been to the top of the mountain and I've been at the bottom. And uh, I ran that, that race and I'm done with it. That was a chapter in my life that I'm done with. And not to say, like I said, when Ultra Street Fighter 4, whatever the fuck they're calling it, comes out later this year, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to try out the new characters. I may make it a regular thing that one one time a week, maybe I play the game online and I make it something of, of my schedule to play the game once a week to try to get up to par in fighting games, right? doesn't mean that I'm taking it seriously. It doesn't mean that I'm going to go back to competitive fighting games as a, a thing that I compete in, right? What on earth would make someone think that this is the time to call me out in a fighting game? What? <laughs> my God. Really? This is the level of intelligence on the internet. <laughs> <clears throat> pretty silly. Pretty silly, right? So, it'll continue. The absolute ridiculous ridiculousness will continue. Uh, as long as it is, again, it, it is propagated to be... It's the in thing to hate on people, to jump on them. Let's face it, a lot of these people who are doing it, you know, the only reason they're doing it is to get attention because they know that they can't get attention any other way. If you didn't care, then why are you talking about it? Huh? Why didn't you just ignore it? You acting like I'm saying, oh, meet me in the tournaments at EVO. I didn't say all that. I said play me online in a game, in an online match, like you do anyone else. See, all I'm hearing is a bunch of fucking excuses. That's all it is. You scared. That's uh, all that talk you're doing is right here. Blah, 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 blah. I'm scared of event. I'm backing down. That's what the fuck you're doing. I even told you I'd give you time to practice. But that's not good enough, is it? And you talking about something, I want some fame. I just want to be noticed. Motherfucker, I put my channel on the line. What the fuck makes you think that it's about fame? Fuck E-Fame. I've been telling y'all this for how long? I don't give a shit about how many followers you have. Meaning I can sniff phonies a mile away. Look at your body language. You're not built for that type of work. Look how you reacted to an online game challenge. You soft. You're not strong arming nobody. And when people asked you about it, you started banning people from your channel.
So for a small recap, he breaks his own rules by speaking about me, meaning I'm in his fucking head, all right? Then when people ask about me to him on the channel, when he's speaking about me, he bans them. What kind of soft shit is that? You live in fantasies, man. Now put it like this. If you tried that shit up here up north, it'd be final. Understand this real quick. And for some more bitch shit that he did, all right? If you such a fucking tough guy, why you send your girl, why you put your girl on the front lines to come and contact me, but you didn't have a heart to do it yourself? She kept running her mouth, so I had to put that chick in her place as well. At that point, she blocked me. So let me get this straight. You contact me, but block me. Are you serious? Come on, man. Look, I told you clowns on here before. When you put your significant other on here or your girlfriend or whatever and you start bragging about her like she's some type of, you know, so a bragging piece or you're putting her on the front lines, I'm going to shoot her down, okay? Because you're putting her on the board as if she's a pawn. That's what it is. You're making her expendable. And then you want to blame me for going after her. No. No. You did it. You put her on the front line like that. Old girl in defense mode like she Yu-Gi-Oh! She ain't got any trap game. I put it like this, all right? Instead of you worrying about what I'm saying about your man, you should be questioning your man on why he showed your nude pictures on the stream to his fans for views. Now look, I can't show y'all those pictures, but we sure as hell got enough witnesses. You know, DSP, I don't know what's worse. You breaking your girl's trust for views or you letting her fight your battles for you. That's not what men do. Nah, you half of a man. Seriously. You know what? The only thing positive about you, DSP, is that you're the AIDS of this community as far as I'm concerned. You need to be cut out of it. You gotta be kidding me. And you fans, all right? You fans of his. Like I said, you can't defend him, you know, legitimately. You can't disprove the video. So all you can do is come in and call me a bunch of names. Now, look. Let's understand this real quick, all right? Because after Friday, y'all know how I do. I was showing y'all pictures on Twitter. I was out and about, all right, trying to get these basketball courts in different neighborhoods renovated so that people have somewhere to go. And while I'm doing that, you on the computer typing and getting mad because I challenged her to an online game. That's what you did. You know what? Let's see some examples of that. Nah, man. Trying too hard. Next one. You know what's sensitive? Thumbing up your own comment because nobody else gives a fuck what you have to say. That's right. Understand there's people who decide to just throw around a bunch of name calling without showing any proof. All right? Because you can't disprove the video. You're not going to be able to disprove this one either. All right? How about this? If I've been called a bunch of names on here for years on here, what the fuck makes you think if you say it that all of a sudden it's going to become special? <laughs> Seriously. Are, you have to be kidding me. Anyways, all right? While you people are doing that, because you have no ammo against me, I'm getting messages like this. That's what you call helping the community and making a difference. See, DSP, you always talk about how you want things to be positive and you want change. What you're failing to realize is that the people that are showing these things, you call a bunch of haters, it shows that they wanted change. The community reacted because they wanted something different, because you were part of the problem. You're still part of the problem. Because some of you fans of his actually came out and said, look, you know, I was a fan of his and then I left. Some of you say, I'm a fan of his, but I do agree that he, his, his erratic behavior is a problem in the community. Some of you even said, I'm a fan of his, but I would like to try and help him and get better. And it seems like any type of criticism you give this dude, king of hate, he's going to shoot you down. What does that it tell was you? Black Bond, not Black Bond, it was somebody else. I can't remember his name. Um, he was talking about DSP as well because DSP went in uh, Black Patreon. Black Patreon. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Yeah. DSP will make playthroughs and will not finish it. He talked about it and DSP blocked him when he mentioned it, mentioned it because Black pa Patreon was um, what? was watching his Mega Man playthroughs and it got to the final balls and he just stopped playing. Yeah, DSP is good for that. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What made, what made you continue to watch 
Oh, what well, got you into the DSP? Oh, okay. So my um my experience experiences from DSP actually comes from the FGC. To be honest with you, um, I'd heard about him on SRK and whatnot, and what kind of uh, an individual he was, and people used to crack jokes on him and everything. And I was like, oh, okay, well, DSP, all you know, whatever. And then um, I was on YouTube. <clears throat> I was on YouTube randomly one night. I can't remember what I was doing. Mm-hmm. I was on YouTube, and I came across an Almighty Tevin video, and uh, or a Tevin video at the time. And so I click on it, and he's like, uh, and he's you know he's sitting there with his webcam, and he at the time he was in his rocking chair, and the video was like two hours long. Yes. So I was like, okay, well I'll play I'll play this in the background while I'm doing something else. <laughs> and, he was, uh, cause that's what I do. And, um, and he was talking about DSP and he was kind of going over these different situations. And I was thinking to myself, well, damn, he can recollect, he can recollect, uh, recollect shit. He can recall <laughs> a bunch of stuff about DSP. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, wow, well, this is pretty impressive. So I ended up just binge watching a bunch of his videos. And as I'm doing it, I'm, I'm it's almost like I'm mentally taking notes of some of the, the situations that DSP has or he's going through. So I ended up going to bed. I ended up waking up the next day and I told a friend about it. I was like, yo, man, uh, you know, this is dude that I just started watching. You should check him out. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, shit, I know who Kevin is. And he's like, yo, let me send you over to this website and this website. <laughs> and I was like, the fuck? And so I started reading up on him uh, a little bit more and so on and so forth. And then I decided to go to the archives mm-hmm. of SRK. And I started to go back and see some of the shit that he did. And I was like, Oh, this is what I was missing out on. And after maybe, I don't know, I can't remember how much time passed. That's when I was like, you know what, man? I'm going to make a video. Because I had watched enough Tevin videos. Um, Not just Tevin. I watched a bunch of people at the time. I was binge watching Stone Cornell. I was binge watching um, Mr. Huff Stuffs. Um, Another guy named Marcus Daily Productions. He doesn't make videos anymore, sadly. But um, he uh, he used to uh, put up DSP's pre-streams. I was watching a bunch of his stuff. I was watching a little bit of SOK stuff. I was watching Argent stuff. I was watching a bunch of people and I became a fan. <laughs> and after a while, I was like, you know what, man? I got something to say. I'm just going to put this video out here. Whatever happens, happens, dog. And uh, I, I went to Marcus Daily Productions. I found a video I wanted to talk over. And there you go. And the ball basically went rolling after that. Where was your first video? My first video... Here, actually... <laughs> <coughs> Here, I'll bring it up. Uh, let's see here. Damn. My first video was DSP Gaming. Uh, DSP Gaming was hacked, and he thinks his information is safe. He should think again. <laughs> I, 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 did, I did that video August 24th of 2007. Jesus. Or 2017. I'm about to say, 2007? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, that, that's, that's not too long ago. That's what's up. <laughs> Almost a year ago. Yeah. That's when um I'm wow, that's kind of crazy. I, I remember that now. That's when he uh that's when people found out about his alleged um when people found out about that DSP Enterprises <laughs> situation. Bruh, bruh, uh, do you think that was his main what the fuck was that? Excuse me. Uh do you think that was the main reason why he got hit with all those taxes? Quote unquote, if it was true, um, possibly. possibly. <laughs> mm. To be honest, because people, people, excuse me, had been speculating about that whole DSP Enterprises for a while, and uh, and when and he denied it. He, I remember Argent had a video where he went over it specifically, and DSP was like, "Oh, there is no DSP Enterprises; it never existed." Come to find out, his business internet service is under DSP Enterprises. Um. All kinds of shit. It opened up like I remember it opened up this huge ass wormhole, and I remember I was mm-hmm. I I watched what happened to him, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, there it goes. There's the main event right there. Yep. All right, good shit. Um, I I remember seeing all that nonsense happen, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a video. And I remember the video was like an hour long, and I was like, man, no one's gonna listen to this shit. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This video is like an hour long, and I remember it was what. I posted it and I walked away. I just, you know, I walked away from my computer or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think when I woke up the next morning, dude, I had like a hundred views and shit. I was like, the hell? <laughs> yeah. 
And so I just kept following the story. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of <laughs> kept following it and doing that and this, that, and the third. And um, I think back then, I don't even think I called it DSP News at the time. I think I called it – here, let me see something real fast. I think mm-hmm. I called it DSP Logic at the time. Yeah. Uh, and I used to pick apart his thought process on it because it was dumb. It was just <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I called it DSP Logic, and then I did a couple of DSP tries. It's calling him out, like letting KO Gaming die out. And I remember he did that, changing his Patreon goals, conning his supporters. Jesus Christ, I really went at this guy. Truthfully, uh, I wish he never stopped with KO Gaming. <clears throat> that I wish he would have kept go- going, um, at least doing some editing himself instead of depending on. On his fans, because I remember one detractor actually worked on an edit and sent it to him, and mm-hmm. he didn't like do anything with. He didn't even um try to give that guy any money, <clears throat> but some fucking shout out like that don't mean shit. It don't. Oh man, Jesus Christ! Yeah, the aftermath of when he got hacked, and then I did the DSP. Holy shit, DSP logic will uh. Is uh, Leanna gonna? Is DSP and Leanna gonna get back together? That was like probably my biggest video at the time. Yes. <laughs> then, yeah, like a video, then like two videos later, man, I started dealing DSP news and everything kind of just started rolling from there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I remember. Um, maybe an hour ago, you stated that you wouldn't believe the uh, pictures and information that uh, people would send you. Would you yeah. be willing to share any of those pictures that the people sent you about DSP? Um, a lot of those pictures, I'll be honest with you, a lot of those pictures, man, I deleted. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of those pictures, and st- like a lot of the pictures, a lot of the documentation, mm-hmm. um, some of the documentation I kept um, just because they're going to lead into other shit later, and I know that for sure. But a lot of the pictures and stuff, dude, like I was just like, how did you guys even get this shit? Because you know <laughs> it was stuff like, like, um, you know how, like, there's a bunch of pictures floating around, right? Where he's, like, at the arcade and he's looking at it or whatever. Yes. Like, a lot of these pictures are from, like, the FGC days and shit. So, some of them are already in circulation. Some of them aren't. Some of them are, like, um, like old pictures of him and Howard and, uh, and OJ and whatnot chilling with each other. Just mm-hmm. random pictures that makes DSP look like a human fucking being for a little while. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And yes. I remember looking at it and I was thinking... You know what? I should put this in a video to show that this man, uh, excuse me, that this man was at least at one time normal. Mm-hmm. And I think I never did it because if you look at how the pictures were taken and their perspectives, um, I was like, nah, this was a personal picture that someone took. And so I don't know how I got it. So a lot of that stuff, we just vaulted. Like, um, I remember Kenny, I've, I talk about Kenny a lot because he's one of the major guys was here. He was like, man, let's just vault a lot of this shit. And um, I remember I was saying I was going to delete a bunch of shit. I think I did, but you know how it is mm-hmm. on, um, on, a, on your PC. You could delete it, and you could actually go back and recover it. So I think Kenny went back and was like, nah, we're going to save some of this stuff because you never know what you might need later. Yes, so sir. He vaulted it, put it on another hard drive. I don't know what he got what he didn't. But I was, <laughs> I was always like, yo, let's just delete some of this shit, dude, because... It is what it is. I'm never going to use none of this. I'm not going to. I'm not going to put none of this in a video because it, it's. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it. It hits. I guess in some ways, maybe it hit close to home. Yeah. It almost made me. It. It almost made me feel bad about. Damn. Actually, now that I think about it, it actually made me feel bad <laughs> for him in some way. Mm-hmm. Like um, like this this like uh, one of my friends, uh, Mighty D. He makes videos. Him and Memology One Hundred and One. I was and, just um, thinking about Mighty D. Yeah, and Mighty D makes videos like that that really humanizes Phil. Yeah. And I think that's the reason why I've always been very partial to D, to uh, Mighty D's video on what happened to you, DSP. You remember that video? It's like four or five yeah. minutes long. Yeah, yeah. you know, you just read my mind because I was going to bring that up because <coughs> excuse me, I was going to try to get his permission to use that to put in this video because before, I mean, when he lost his job, when he sprung out, like pulled his soul out for his fans and whatnot and wasn't really expecting anything, he was going to actually get up and find how he was going to handle this, the loss of his job. Job would not. It was like, damn, that was a decent motherfucker. And then later on, 
I don't, did he ever show in that video like what changed him to become this toxic, sick motherfucker that he? What's up, everyone? It's uh, DSP here, and um, probably this is going to be the most honest video I've ever made. It's going to be shooting from the hip, um, but I'm also going to be very careful what I say, obviously, for legal reasons uh, because of what's going on right now. Um, and I really don't know where I'm going to go with it. This is actually take two because take one, I really just rambled on like a fucking moron and didn't know what I wanted to say. Um, but basically, uh, as you know, past two years I've been making videos on YouTube and this has always been my side thing. This has always been my hobby, my, you know, the thing that I do for, you know, free time because uh, I love video games. So I do video game playthroughs, comedy videos, game reviews, things like that. Um, well... Bottom line is this, I went to work today and they laid me off. So I no longer have a full-time job. Uh, I'm unemployed. And this means a lot of things. Um, <clears throat> some good, some bad. I see both sides of every situation. Uh, I try to look at it and take everything with a grain of salt and understand. The thing is this, you know, it's, it's easy to be very negative and say, oh, this is bullshit, America sucks, the economy sucks, they're laying everyone off. And I'm sure that a lot of people watching this video know someone personally, either a friend, either a loved one, a relative who's been laid off recently. And so I'm thinking a lot. I'm thinking a lot about things, about what I'm doing uh, with YouTube, about whether or not I want to go back to the kind of job that I was just in, um, whether I want to, now that I have the time, you know, I've always said I, I do my YouTube videos as a side project, as a hobby. Well, now that I have the time to do it, can I put full time, like this is a real job, can I put 8 to 10 hours a day into it? These people took this normal stuff that they were doing in comedy videos and stuff and they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. So, it's possible um, to do it. And is that something that I want to do? Is that what I want to go with my life? Especially big, being that you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, it could go one way where I become popular and that works. It could go another way where I become popular, but then all of a sudden the fad dies out and now what am I going to do for work? Or it could just be that I put all this time and effort and money into it and it doesn't work at all. So yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, a big chance. It's a big gamble. Um, one thing I do want to say, a lot of people at my job knew that I did make videos on YouTube and a lot of people have seen this. So everyone at my job, I just want to say, well, at my former job, I just want to say, without, you know, obviously divulging too much personal information, thank you. I enjoyed my five years there. Uh, all of you made it a great time. And, uh, you know, I'm looking at this in a positive light rather than negative light. You don't have to worry about me. Uh, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to figure this out and I'm going to either, you know, I'm going to rethink what I'm doing with my life and we're going to go from there and see where it happens. Um, like I said, this is the first time I've lost a job in my life. I am going to basically brush myself off. I'm going to stand back up after getting knocked down and I'm going to go out there and figure out what to do. And it's going to be okay. You know, things are going to work out. Uh, forgive me because like I said, I'm not, I have so many thoughts and things going through my head right now that, you know, some negative stuff obviously because when you have something like this happen you have negative feelings about yourself and how you, you were thought of by your management um, but at the same time a lot of stuff happened that kind of led up to this um, that really wasn't in anyone's control it was just kind of a lot of stuff going on so again I don't want to get too much into it but um, wow I'm just like I'm, I'm, I'm tongue tied because there's so many people right now who are going through this. It's not just me, you know? Everyone, like I said, has a friend or a loved one or someone who's probably been laid off. You know someone, and it's like, wow. For me, I can actually say I actually feel better off than the majority of people who are getting in this situation right now because at least I have a side project going on for me. I have this thing on YouTube going on. Um, you know, I have dedicated fans who support me, and let me tell you, let me just tell you this, because this is the honest truth from the heart. You know, there's some days when I wake up and I feel like shit, and not just, you know, physically, but mentally, you know, I, I beat myself up some days about things that have happened, maybe at work, maybe something in my personal life, maybe my performance in a game. And then I go online and I see thousands of people basically saying, Phil, thank you so much, you're a great person for what you do, you're funny, you're entertaining, you seem like a genuinely nice guy. And uh, that helps. It really does. It's, it's kind of like having uh, an extra support system on top of my family and my friends. And it is amazing. This whole YouTube experiment has been an amazing thing. Um, so, you know, I could sit here and I could be a, a negative 
you know, asshole, and I could swear and stamp my feet and say, oh, those motherfuckers and this and that. But bottom line is this. It's life. Things happen. And there's different kinds of people. There's those who are defeated. There's those that give up. There's those that throw tantrums and have fits. And there's those that get back up off the ground, brush themselves off, and try to figure out what the hell to do. And that's what I'm going to do. So fuck that. I'm not going to be negative. I'm going to try to figure shit out. It's, it's that simple. Um... Thank you, you fucking worthless humans, for the views. Shadow X222, are you a functional retard? I have to ask. Because not only are you banned from my chat, but you go, I can't believe it, is this guy faking it? Did you not see full screen the guy does random super? I just hold back, whole super hates me. And then it has a network error, you're gonna blame me? You're a fucking idiot, you're the fucking idiot. Seriously. Seriously, how can any fucking idiot say this game is good? Aren't you watching? This game sucks. It doesn't block and it fucking skips shit all the time. Scrub fucking central. Scrub central garbage gameplay and garbage ass fucking game. Terrible game. Terrible. Yeah, you got out. You got outplayed. No, you suck my dick. I know exactly what to do and it doesn't fucking do it. That's not being outplayed. That's the game sucks online. Complete garbage. Absolute garbage. This guy fucking sucks my dick. Doubt Complex, you suck my dick. You suck my dick. And it was hilarious because there were a few people who did troll cheers and then I won both matches. So their troll cheers made it look completely fucking stupid. Like this guy right here, liar, killer, cheater, piece of shit, who did a troll cheer and I won twice, bitch. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Which I hope you appreciate. Um, quite honestly, let me take a look because I have not looked at stream numbers all day. My god, the stream numbers were terrible. Wow, what happened? We never even... Hold on. I'm actually trying to go back here. Did we ever even get close to 400? We didn't, did we? At least from what I can see. I can't see the entire length of the stream, but from what I can see, which is back till around like 3 p.m., it looks like we barely even had 300 on stream. Wow. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, here's the bottom line, and I'm tired of it now. No more excuses, all right? Because the bottom line is people are like, Phil's not engaged in his commentary, and Phil's commentary is boring, and that's why people don't want to watch the playthroughs of the streams. Bullshit. I'm loving this game. I'm voice acting. I'm engaged. I'm commentating on everything that's going on actively. Bullshit. I call massive bullshit on any idiot who says that about either the Watch Dogs 2, which I've been playing recently and really liking, or Pokemon. It's bullshit. I call complete and utter bullshit on anyone who's saying that I'm not engaged and I sound like I'm bored. I'm not. So, I've had enough excuses. It just seems to me like people are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. Yes. Not necessarily. It just, it just showed what he was before, you know, YouTube. Essentially, what you could say, to be honest with you, is it was YouTube. It was YouTube itself that turned him toxic. Like, when he devoted himself to it full-time, Yes, it's what it's what killed him in, in some ways. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And um, I think that if you do some more research, like ask around, I believe you will get a lot of views if you was to bring up the video when DSP um got hit by a car, and that's why he have his quote unquote still back injury. Okay, well, see, here's the thing, like I. Like, because I only recently started kind of messing around and seeing what the deal is with that. Because that's what happened. He was like in a car accident. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for I'm not sure this is DSP, but I remember somebody had it was a video floating around. This was DSP. He was trying to jump over a car and he fell and hurt himself badly. I do have a back injury. Uh, I have mentioned it before in the channel comments. I don't know how I hurt my back. I have a severely herniated disc in my lower back, and really there's no explanation. It's not like I fell, it's not like I was in a car accident, or I was lifting some heavy shit, and I'm like, oh, and I, you know, nothing like that. Just, uh, it happened. And so because of that, I have pain a lot when I, I stand up for, you know, longer periods of time, when I drive a car on the highway for, you know, more than just a couple seconds, actually, or when I drive long distances, you know, at sh slower speeds. 
Um, in addition to that, you know, obviously I, I can't do anything like dance or do any kind of you know strenuous physical activity like sports or anything like that. Just very basic stuff. So uh, pretty much since this injury came to light last fall, I tried to you know figure out what am I going to do with my time because I can't go out much anymore. Um, and so I decided to play video games. I don't know how I hurt my back. Just uh, it happened. Fuck this! I'm trying to get my fucking back fixed. I'm trying to get my fucking back fixed. I'm trying to get my fucking back fixed. Yeah, he is. Hi. Ruben, hi. This is Cheryl from the billing department at Orthopedic Specialty. Yes. Um, they did check with someone, and uh, actually, uh, we think he would have to come in, um, you know, for an appointment if the doctor could give an idea of what, you know, truly needed to be done. If, if he had been in recently, which we did look at the account, and it was back to 09, um, if he had been, then maybe we can go to his administrative assistant and ask him, them, for some codes so that we can give you an idea, you know, of what it would be. Right. Um, but he would really need to have to come in for um, an appointment, an office appointment, um, to determine what would need to be done, and um, they could then give you some idea, I believe, of what um, procedures we're looking at. But as far as you, you were asking if it would be more than 8,000, um, well, I wouldn't think that it would be. And who was he a uh, patient of, do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was Dr. Kojima. I'm trying to get my fucking back fixed. The gentleman that you are unfortunately now seeing at your display is Philip Burnell. But you may know him for a different alias, Darkside Phil. My name is Carl Edward Stevenson, also known as Shen P1, and I'm here to confess about what really happened with Darkside Phil's back around more than a decade ago. See, I ran over Phil. I had my wife at the passenger seat when it happened. It had to do about a dispute over money. It started when we both entered a Street Fighter tournament in the main streets of Bridgeport, Connecticut. All the participants agreed to gamble up their money once entering the tournament. Phil agreed to the terms, but then Phil refused to pay the first place winner once he lost the tournament, being held only in seventh place. And he said, and I quote, I noticed the arcade cabinets had laggier inputs than the one I would practice with my friends in, end quote. This was an outrage and people were angry, including myself. After several hours of debating, the majority of us went into a back room without Phil's presence and discussed how we should go about this. After talking it over with the guys, we all agreed that physical harm would probably straight him out and could be beneficial for him in the future as well. He won't mess around with others was our philosophy at the time. So it was up to me to carry out the hit. But unbeknownst to everyone, they didn't know exactly how I planned to do it. So I waited for the perfect time. Then, the opportunity struck. I've never been indicted nor prosecuted for this act. He was unconscious several seconds after it happened. And everyone who saw him got hit were people from the tournament themselves, and some were even ones that were in the room with me when we were discussing a way to inflict pain on the scrub. They misled the authorities when they came and told them he accidentally fell on his back. In any case, Phil never knew what happened himself until now. I ruined your back, you fucking scrub. <clears throat>
<laughs> but it looked like it looked like it was some same height, same weight. <clears throat> Way back in the day, maybe in his um early or late twenties. Right. I think probably uh, early twenties. When he was trying to jump over a car or jump around the hood of the car and just land it on his back and really hurt himself. <clears throat> is if that's really how that I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up. I didn't know it is there you said there's a video floating around about that? I seen it like a long time ago after because I seen this main event TV video. Hold on, let me see the date of that video. So, okay. Give me a second. Do, 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 do. The date of this main event, 2014. It was between 2014 and 15 when I seen this video. It was a red shirt, and he was wearing like uh, blue shorts. And I remember he was either trying to jump over the car, you know how like in a basketball, I mean like Kobe Bryant would like jump over the car, right? Yeah, I think DSP was trying to do the same. Or this personator or whoever this person was was trying to jump over the car or over the hood and just fuck themselves up. <clears throat> this video right here, so um how DSP broke his back exactly. This video right here was published January fifth of two thousand four. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make that a side project, my dude, and once I got all, once I have all my information. I'm gonna touch back base with you. Okay. Uh, send send me a link of that since there's an audio in this video. I could just put it uh, for people to hear and see. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can do that. Um, Thanks, bro. That's crazy. I never really thought about that. Cause to be honest with you, I've never. I don't think anybody's <coughs> ever deduced how this dude hurt his back. Like it just, it's just not something that ever that. Uh, it's never something that anybody brings up. <laughs> now, this just the the video I'm talking about may may or may not have been DSP. As again, this was a long time ago. I thought it was because it was his name and title. This person resembled him, but this but the view of the angle was it looked like somebody was probably in their house or apartment vending. Video and viewing the video from downward, you know, this is probably a fake video. Oh, <coughs> yeah. So that and, might be some like that might be some secret stuff that even that no one knows about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, because I can. I'll be honest with you. I mm -hmm. can see Phil doing some dumb shit, <coughs> like trying to say, "Hey, man, I can jump over a car." You know, that black guy did it. Why can't I? And, you know, I can see him doing that dumb shit. <laughs> I swear to God, I see him doing that shit. Yeah, because when that person hit that ground, bro, bro, that was painful to watch. And uh, the minute the person came out of the corner to try to help the um, dude, uh, that's when the video cuts off. <laughs> so And so when DSP, when I... Cause when I seen that, I was like, "Hold on, what the fuck? What the fuck are they talking about?" The DSP got a uh, back injury. Then when I seen, I mean, heard DSP talk about his back injury, like, "Oh shit, that may have been true." Wow. And then when it says then somebody said it was a car incident, and I referred back to the video I was watching. Oh uh -huh. shit. So yeah, it could have it could have been him. Could probably wasn't him, but I can't find that video no more. Interesting. All right, so here I'm gonna I'm actually gonna take a note on that right now, and I'm gonna look that video up because that right there might be gold. <laughs> that, might, that might be gold to find out what happened with this fan. You would need to ask a lot of people f from 2014 that's been following this for a very long time, following DSB for a long, long time, and I don't think Tevin or Theo would be one of. Them. Um, one of the best resources that I use, to be honest with you, is a. Uh, <clears throat> is a uh, locale and um, Kiwi Farms. Like, there's actually a form. Like, you know, DSP has his own section. Mm -hmm. There's actually like a historian up there who's actually tracking Phil from like 2010 <laughs> on. You know, you know what? Um, that now that I think about it, do you think some people may <clears throat> may be wasting too much time on one per? On this guy, cause the information y'all come up with DSP, I swear to God, y'all motherfuckers need to join the FBI with y'all tracking skills. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I mean, have I've had people like ask me like, "Yo, man, do you feel like you 
you know, you devote too much time to DSP. I think it's first off, man, I got a job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got a job, I got a fam, you know what I'm saying? I got shit that I gotta worry about. So for me, he's a hobby. Like yeah. he's an afterthought. Like it's never it's it's never one of those things where I wake up and I'm like, I gotta make a DSP video. I gotta make a D nah, bro. Mm -hmm. Nah, bro. I got stuff that I gotta do first before I before I even get around to doing that. And the thing is, is I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't do a DSP video unless my heart's in it. You know what I'm saying? To be honest. Yes. Like you have to if I have to hype myself up to make a DSP video, then I don't need to be doing it. Th that you know is very saying? true. You know what I'm saying? I'll do it when I because <laughs> to be honest with you, at least for me anyway, I I never expected this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never mm -hmm. expected people to be watching my videos. I never expected people to be commenting, be like, yo, GTG, man, I love your videos. Yo, GTG, would you look, <laughs> would you consider looking into this? I I never thought I would have Snorpinel or Almighty Tevin or Volt Boy or Argent come to my video and be like, hey man, great video. I I never thought that because I'm a fan. You know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I'm still a fan. So I wouldn't have never expected that. So when, so I, I like shouting other people out because just that I'm a fan, yep. but I never expected to get where I'm at. If you, if you want to call it anything, I don't know what to call it, but I never expected. <laughs> you know and, and you know, and the reason they attracted to me, uh, to your videos was the whole, it was a keyboard doggy and then it was a suit and then you speak as if you in a real studio. Like that's some gangster shit right there. I, yeah, I really like, like like that. It's it's super like okay, like it's super cringy because I know people don't like it. Like trust me, like there's I've got my haters, believe it or not. I got my haters. And there's people who look at it as like, oh, it's super cringy, but I like that it's cringy because I don't take myself seriously. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here in my in my dog persona. And we're having a laugh over Phil. And, yep. every week, and I throw in a little bit of, uh, I throw a little bit of real world in there. Mm -hmm. I throw some logic at you and then it's done. So you're with me between an hour, excuse me, between an hour and two hours. We're clowning Phil and then we go on with our day. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yes. so, <clears throat> it was only recently where you see my videos kind of look the way they do now. Mm, the old yep. way our videos i only did it that way because it was something you could listen to yeah you know, me putting all the women in, in the video that was window dressing that was <laughs> yeah. it, it really is this is window dressing it's really meant it's really meant for you to sit down and listen to like something you can do while you're working or something yeah so that's how that's how i treated like um because that's why i know i watch and i'm able to refer back to so many of argent and almighty tevin's videos because they're videos that i we're listening to while I'm at work. I got mm -hmm. stacks of goddamn paperwork, man. I don't know about this paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> yes. well, the reason I bring that up, do you think two people's wasting in too much time? Because the whole swatting incident and then people's able to backtrack so far into this man's life and then somebody taking pictures of him, I kind of thought that was disturbing. Now, I, I, and I can't justify that, so I won't. To be perfect, sorry about that. I can't mm -hmm. justify some of the people who do what they do. I, I can't do that because I, I, I don't know them. I don't know what their uh, their situation is. What I will say is it must take a special individual to piss off this many people to where they cut into your life like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they dissect your life this way. And that's and that's kind of one of the reasons why I kind of like doing what I do because I'm not, I'm a detractor, I suppose, but I'm not a detractor. I'm coming at it as a fan and someone who reports on the bullshit. That's kind of how I do. I'm not going to, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to distance myself from it. You know what I'm saying? I've had plenty yes. of people say shit to me, dude, like, oh, you're ruining DSP's life. How can you live this way? I've had people say, hey man, you're fucking, you're, you're terrible for the detractor community. You should stop. I've had plenty of people say yeah. Oh, hell yeah. But you just report. I've, I've had people shit, dude. I I don't even want to get into it. But I've had plenty <laughs> of people shit on me. Dog. I've had plenty of people shit on me. I've had plenty of people who who were just like, "Hey, man, I enjoy listening to your to your videos because they're long and you're pretty funny." Mm -hmm. I mean, it is what it is. I've never held anything against anybody. If you hate the video, you hate the video. Cool. 
If you like the video, like the video. Cool. If you hate me and you think I'm a black eye on the detractor community or you think I'm I'm ruining DSP's life, cool. At the end of the day, it's my opinion and I'm and I have the right to have it. And that's yep. why despite some dumb shit, I would never take his freedom of speech away from him because at the end of the day, if you take Phil's freedom of speech away from him, yeah, how long yep. until they take away yours? But that is 100% true. That's yeah, more. so I don't have no problem. I don't have, I mean, you can, people can think about me all they want. Dude, it's the internet. At the end of the day, man, when I go to bed, dude, I don't think about none of this shit. The moment my computer shuts off, it's a wrap for me. Yep. <laughs> oh, um, I see people now live streaming his video games or, uh, yeah, his video games. What's up with, what's up with all that? Um, Okay, so the live, you, you mean like the live streaming of his live streams? Yeah, yes, uh, I see Trevin, Vault Boy. Yeah, I see it's those three. Yeah, there's a lot of guys who do it. Tevin, Vault Boy, uh, James the Lesser does it sometimes. It's the new thing. It's the new thing to beat Phil at his own game, essentially. But isn't that driving views away from him? So, pe- so he's now making less money? No, 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 no. You have to understand, brother, this still comes back down to choice. <laughs> it do. I promise you. Here, I can't speak for Almighty Tevin or James the Lesser or Volt Boy. I can't speak for these people. I respect them, but I can't speak for them. But what I will say is this from what I see. If if people are fans of DSP, guess what? You're gonna watch DSP. Yes. But if you're tired of but if you're a fan of DSP and you're tired of his bullshit and you see a detractor streaming his shit. Nine times, I bet you anything, seven out of ten times, you're going to go over there to that detractor and see what's going on. And that's what's <laughs> happening. That's the weirdest shit. I can, dude, I can prove it. I can prove it to you. Uh-huh. Not, just, not just to you, but to anybody who's, who's listening to this. The next time Almighty Tevin is streaming on YouTube and he's streaming DSP stuff, go to Almighty Tevin stream because Tevin has DSP's stream chat in his stream. And you'll see... People taking Tevin's jokes in real time and using it in DSP's chat. Oh shit! Did yeah. they watch? Did they watch in both streams? Did they watch in both streams? Because and if you're devoted to Phil, why are you watching Tevin's stream? <laughs> I'm just saying, why are you watching Tevin's stream? Mm-hmm. And does penne really stands for penis in Spanish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though that's a real pasta. Even though it's a real pasta, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, well, one question I do have to ask, because I've been think, wondering this for the longest time. When you mention Kenny or any other person in your studio, are you mentioning your um neighbors, I mean, your roommates, friends that help you with your videos? Yeah, there were friends that helped me with my videos. Like, it was uh, Kenny and Kevin. They've been here since, like, almost the beginning. Now, the funny part, the gimmick is, to be honest with you, is you really don't know if they're here or not. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the gimmick. Like, the gimmick is you don't really know if they're here or not. So there was times, right, where uh, mm-hmm. where we would step in, and I would start recording, and I'd be like, yo, Kenny, man, yo, gr- grab, me, grab me the scotch, bro. And he would actually go and get it. And he would actually go and get it because he's watching me as I'm, as I'm recording all this. And uh, they, they, just, they just get all the laughing and parts out of it. And uh, there's sometimes there he's not there. So I had my fan base, uh, if you want to call it my fan base. You have I had my viewers conditioned to the point where, when I'd be like, "Yo, Kenny, what you laughing at? Yo, Kenny, what? Like, you don't know if he's, you don't really know if he's there or not. Oh you have, shit, you have no clue. And it's just one of those. It's just one of those little gimmicks that I had, and people <laughs> loved it. So it is what it is. Same hey. thing with the panda. Same uh. thing with the panda Lee jokes. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I mm-hmm. do have a friend named Kenny and Kevin, though. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, because this whole time I've just been thinking you that you've been talking to yourself and that's your whole gimmick. <laughs> but these people actually is at your place. It's a fun, yeah, they're actually out here. Like I said, that, sometimes they're here, sometimes they're not, though. Or sometimes uh, only one of them's here, and mm-hmm. sometimes the other one isn't. And Asian GTG, you've actually heard him. Yeah. Like but Kenny and Kevin don't want to be on camera, so or they don't want to be on on a film because they do other shit on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And I asked and I, I told him from the jump, you know, Hey, when, if I start doing this, man, I'm probably going to catch shit. And they were <laughs> like, I, I was straight up with them. I was like, I don't know how this is going to happen. 
and I might catch shit. And they were like, yo, we wish you all the way. We just, we probably just don't want to be on the audio. I was like, bet. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just going to call your names out anyway. And they were like, all right, <laughs> good. Yeah, there you go. That is what's up. Um, yeah. God damn, what else? Asian GT. Asian GTG. I thought um, I thought that was a Skype call that y'all had. So he was at your house too. Yeah, he was actually here while I was recording. Oh damn! Oh, that's what's up. Who was the person that was responsible to fix the audio on that one? <laughs> um, uh, recently or just as of late? When y'all was talk, when y'all t- specifically when y'all two were just talking, because sometimes um, was- the audio was going in and out. Um, what happened was is I have this. Terrible mic that I bought. This shit is horrible, and uh, and I felt like it was gonna. I thought it was gonna be a good mic for the two of us, right? Mm-hmm. And so as we're as we're talking, yeah, there is a. I have a, like a like a mute button, I suppose, and the mute button is malfunctioning. Damn. So the damn thing kept cutting in and out randomly. So a lot of the jokes that was going on, like. When we're not, when you know you're actually hearing the audio of the video, mm-hmm. is cutting in and out, so you're not hearing any of the jokes, <clears throat> and that really got messed up. Like someone actually had, uh, mentioned on the video, he was like, "Hey man, I really appreciate the effort, but there are so many jokes that I missed." Someone, another person, took the time to put that video into Audacity, and was able to rip everything, and uh, they sent it to me. So I gotta re- I gotta remaster that video, I guess, so to speak. But um, it was really just a shitty mic. But now I've got it all under control, so we'll be good now. That's really good, man. Uh, hopefully, uh, that you're able to rally up the truth that we all can make a podcast together. <laughs> I kind of—that's what I want to do, man. Like the end goal, the end goal, like the end goal is to have like a literal morning show. Like I don't know when I'm going to start. It'll be like on my days off or some shit. But Bruh, that would be awesome. Yeah, like it'll start at like six a.m. And we'll have GTG radio for like 10, 15 minutes. And then I come on, we go over the DSP videos from the previous day. And then I start taking phone calls and you get, you get like 90 seconds and you can say whatever you want. You want to say, fuck GTG. (laughs) (laughs) Fine. If you want to, but if you want to say, yo, DSP is a jerk, this, that, and the third, you want to call and just shout out your channel or you want to say you, you love almighty seven. <clears throat> or whatever the case may be, you can do it. I mean, everybody gets like 30 seconds and I'm going to do like, I don't know, it'll probably be like 10 callers, I guess. Mm-hmm. And then we would go into like the next video, another music segment. And it'd be like a nice, like two hour show. You know what I mean? And then I'll I, post it on YouTube. I will be 100% down with that. <laughs> keep, and just then, keep like me posted. Said, as that keeps going, and like I so said, I'll keep you posted. Then I want to actually like be able to bring people on. Like, you know, I'll call you one morning and be like, hey, man, you, you down to get on a Skype call with me and get on this? And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there you go. So same show. You and me would be watching the video. You know what I'm saying? We'll pause, you know, be like, hey, pause the video real fast. And then I just bounce off of you. Like, hey, man, what are your thoughts on what he just said? What's your thing on this, that, and the third? And then, yeah. bam, back into the video until it finishes. Take some phone calls. You know, hey, man. I think you're funny, or hey man, I think you guys are cool. Hey man, you guys suck, whatever, mm-hmm. and whatnot, and just kind of do it like that. So, and if eventually, I would like to think that, um, I mean, like I said, it's time, you know, time can, can uh, constraints and everything like that. Yeah. I'd like to get like two or three people on, and like I said, it'd only be like one or two videos, so <laughs> it'd probably be only like an hour, hour and a half. And you yeah. know, and, and more importantly, if you can get, if I can get like yourself. Uh, James the Lesser, maybe if I could get like an Argent or a Theo or a Tevin up there so people could call them and be like, Yo, Tevin, I love your videos, man. Or Tevin, what makes you keep doing this? Or whatever the case, it kind of gives people a bit of a connection. <coughs> Excuse me. A bit of connection to the uh, to the people that they look up to. Or you know what? I've al- yeah, I always say from the majority of my videos, I want to build a community like that. I may be a shit talker. People may call me uh, homophobic because I attack some trans person, but that's neither here right now. <laughs> but anyway, I may be a lot of things, but what I do care is for the gaming community because we all have that one thing in common. We may not like each other. We may not be the same skin color or the same class of race, 
but we do have a love for video games. <clears throat> and I don't care whether you play on PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo. I do care if you play on a cell phone. I just don't call it a fucking platform. Fuck, man. <laughs> I don't care if you play on PC, even though that's my choice of platform. We all have right. this one thing in common, and that's video games. And I feel that we should be able to build a community and get some of this ratchet shit out of our community and stop supporting bad shit. And that's the one thing that drove me to main event because I was starting to see the shit that he was talking. And I wanted to a community to build that community for us to stop supporting dumb shit. Well, hey man, um, did you ever? Now that you brought all that up, did you ever get into like internet blood sports at all? Is that the uh, thing where people had like an uh, IV in their arm uh, and it was draining their blood when they was losing? No, 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 no. You talk about some other shit though. <laughs> <laughs> man, man, event brought that up, but yeah, keep going. Yeah. No, no, no. That was on some. I, I I saw a little bit of that. I was like, whoa. I'm not. No, hell no. Bro, that's um, a health hazard. Uh. Internet blood sports was a concept that um, started with, uh, I think it's fair to say that it started with Andy Worski. He still makes videos. And uh, what he did is he had, he would have, um, he hosted a show on YouTube. Two people came on with opposing um, ideas, basically. Mm -hmm. And they would argue it out. Or he would bring on like a whole panel of people. And they would talk. They would talk about certain subjects. Okay, I I just Google that. Yeah, I, I see it right now. Yeah, yeah, Google, cool. yeah, you can Google that. Andy Worski, um, the uh, Morning Kumite, the Ralph Retort, uh, Mr. Medicare is linked to all that because he's been on yeah. all of them shows. Yeah, I see. You it. should you should really look at some of that stuff if you get a chance. You should listen through some of their old stuff, and um, maybe that would give you an idea because I always look at. <coughs> what Andy Worski was doing and thinking, you know what? I would love to see this in like a gamer type aspect or an entertainment type aspect. Like I want to see people debate. Why the hell do we still have Marvel movies? Like just shut that shit down. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're not going to follow, like, cause there's two groups as it pertains to that, either mm -hmm. those who follow the comic books um, ha or have the movies follow the comic books, I should say, or make it up as you go. I'm a comic book head. So I would prefer if you guys follow the comic book. Now I understand yes. that financially there's other problems with that, but I, I understand there's a, there's, you know, the certain hangups on it, but I would rather you do that. than you sit there and give me this bastardized bastardized version of it, which doesn't follow any real story at all. It doesn't make no goddamn sense. And yeah. then you go ahead and regurgitate a couple of sequels that lead you to nothing. You know, um, I always say this, DC and Marvel, I somewhat understand, you know what, fuck it, I'm not even going to pretend that. I don't understand why I bring a comic book, a comic book movie, I mean a comic book into a real life movie. Why not keep it to the animation? Because you have more time to explain it. If you can't do it by movies, which takes more time and effort, why not just keep it to the uh, television shows <clears throat> like the animation because Marvel and DC I mean Marvel I mean DC is way better at doing sticking to the animation Batman movies will kick the shit out of the Iron Man movies and they can learn from each other but when it comes down to real life DC can I mean DC cannot fuck with Marvel but neither one should be doing the real life joints um, I think it comes from a lack of Oh boy. Okay, so I agree with you 100% on the DC movies, the animated movies, like um, the the Ninja Batman film that just recently came out. That shit is butter. I don't for think real. I gotta see that. That shit is butter. You that shit is butter. Go and see it, bro. Like I say, I mean, if you want to be like me and be a pirate king, <laughs> or, or, I actually bought it too, though. I supported it, so I bought it. You need to watch that film. That shit is on point. Like they did it well done. Just mm -hmm. well done. I have no complaints. Um, as it pertains to Marvel movies, it's just like it's just like here in America when we try to take Japanese anime and turn it into movies. Mm -hmm. We shit it up because let's be honest, there's not enough creativity in Hollywood no more. It's not. There it's is not. 
isn't. There, there really isn't. The game has gotten. The game is 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 too old. It's too saturated, and no one wants to step out of the comfort zone. So you just take somebody else's idea. Yeah, and the one thing I, and the one thing I hate when, uh, especially both sides. When they reintroduce a character, especially from the comic book, like there's no need to every time you do Spider Man, you need to explain his background story. Yeah. Those who know Spider Man knows him. Those who. Uh, <coughs> yeah, there's all kinds of issues, I guess, as it as it comes to all of that. And um, like I said, I I really want you to take a look at the uh, at what Worski had going on early on, like early when he started that, and uh, take a look at it and. Um, I'd like to see you actually be able to do something like that, where you could get opposing sides to come on there onto your show, onto your platform, and be like, "Okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to debate Marvel movies." Th- this side right here says that the Marvel movies are fine the way they are; they shouldn't call, they shouldn't follow the comic book because it may be just too damn long, or whatever the case may be. And mm-hmm. the other side says they should follow the comic book, or they should mm-hmm. just or scratch that. Only focus on anime movies. Go! I would love to do. I'd love to see you do something like that. I, I would. It's just um the little crowd that I do follow. I have a somewhat or do have a bad rap with them. I want to say on the same level as these people. People stalking me, <laughs> but no one really respect respect me. That's why my following is not that big on YouTube. I was been thinking about making a whole. Now the YouTube channel, but fuck it. I'm an asshole for a fucking reason. <laughs> well, even still, even with a even with a following that you feel that doesn't like you, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't. They're still following you, so they're still there. They're still gonna watch it. So why not at least try to build up off of that? Because look at like like I said with the uh, with the people who don't like me, the people who don't like me are sub to the channel. So the moment the video comes out, they already hating on it, and good for them. You know, good for me, haters. <laughs> yes, you know sir. Like you know, what I'm saying it is what it is. But mm-hmm. um, but uh, but uh, I I don't think that should be a reason to. Uh, that's not. A, I don't think that's a reason to not try something new, <clears throat> even if you have people who don't like you, man. Because let's be honest, you're, you're always gonna have people who are not gonna like you for whatever one reason or another. That you is can't true. Help that. That, that you can't help that, but um. I don't know. Like I said, let me know, man, because that'd be something I'd be willing to help you with too, man, and what, uh, or at least have you on a platform for it, because I think that would be cool. To be honest, I, I really, I really appreciate that. And yeah, man, I, will, I definitely would love to get into that. <laughs> right, man. Like I said, it's always, it's always uh, nice to get to talk to someone who uh, who watches your videos because everybody's different, and that's kind of the. If I have to say, uh, outside of being feeling grateful that people gave me the opportunity just to hear me out because that's mm-hmm. all I've ever asked is getting a chance to talk to some of y'all because each and every one of you are different and each and every one of you are different and I'll, I'll, obviously you guys are different but like yes. you guys are all different in different ways like all of you have come from DSP from a different angle you guys are a fan of his you guys don't understand why he gets all the hate some of you are sympathetic to him some of you are like fuck him it's <laughs> it's, it's, it's just kind of nice to kind of get that balance and whatnot. I don't feel like. I guess I can say I'm fortunate enough to where I don't have people who watch me, whether you like me or not. I mm-hmm. don't have people who just hate DSP and then that's it. Yeah. A lot of people like yourself, they don't know all the lore. They don't know everything that he's done, or they don't know a lot of the backstory. So it makes <laughs> a lot of the time that I spent looking some of this stuff up. It kind of makes it all worthwhile. In a lot yes. Of Yes, sir. But if, um, if you want to talk to more people, just have to, just like I did, comment on your videos. Hey, go into the comment section. Hey, man, would you one day want to join my life? I mean, want to join one of my videos and talk talk with me? Shit, Jack was laid dead. Hey, you could come with me. Yeah, absolutely. Like, so I'm generally willing to talk to anybody. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They know, they know he here, man. So, you know, <laughs> man, um, I'm going to have to start rapping this. Of GTG, you was a wonderful person to t- talk to. I really don't normally stay on live for three damn hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me go ahead and give it to what you're doing, man. Thank you, though. It was a pleasure uh, getting to talk to you, man. I appreciate it. That was it, man. You have a good night, bro. Liquid Richard Productions. Welcome to Miami Black. 
and how. There's a million things, there's a million things that I stress about every day, every day. That I stress about every day, every day. There's a reason why I feel like a fat tub of shit every ounce of my day, ounce of my day. There's reasons for nothing. There's reasons for nothing. Look here. I'm a 30 year old, overweight male. Have no dreams or ambitions. All those that died, uh, all those that died, uh, those days happen sometimes. That's the day where you gain fucking weight. That's the day where you gain fucking weight, Jordy. That's the day where you gain fucking weight. That's the day. That's the day. Ah! I hope your parents get the car bill. Said I hope your parents die. I don't smile. I hope your family dies in an automobile wreck. Said I hope your parents die. Said I hope your parents die. I don't smile, man. I got nothing to smile about in life. Shout out Sean Franklin. Lord of the Wings. And how? There's a million things. There's a million things that I stress about every day, every day. That I stress about every day, every day. There's a reason why I feel like a fat tub of shit every ounce of my day, ounce of my day. There's reasons for nothing. There's reasons for nothing. Look here! I'm a 450 pound dude that can barely walk. My life can't get much worse. My life can't get much worse. You can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. Come the fuck on, man. Look here. Look. Look here. Look here. Look. Let's excuses. Look here. Look here. Look. Let's excuses. Appearing offline. Appearing offline does not stop and stop excuses. Appearing offline. Appearing offline does not stop. Look here. Look here. Look here. Look. Excuses. Look here! Look here! Look! Let's excuses! Appearing offline! Appearing offline does not fucking stop you! Appearing offline! Appearing offline does not fucking stop you! Fuck that nigga. Whatever, I hope your family dies in an automobile wreck. Because you're a fucking piece of shit! Human equivalent of a piece of shit! Fuck! Why the fuck you scream that shit? Nigga. No, I don't got any friends, dude. I spend my entire life sitting in this room. Webby, fucking leave, dude. I'm getting the fucking surgery. I would show you I'm getting surgery, but I. But I. But I. But I fucking gives a bunch of. Look! Look here! Look here! Look! Let's excuses! Look here! Look here! Look! Let's excuses! Appearing offline! Appearing offline does not fucking stop excuses! Appearing offline! Appearing offline does not fucking stop! Look here! Look here! Look! Let's excuses! Look here! Look here! Look! Let's excuses! Appearing offline! Appearing offline does not fucking stop! Appearing offline! Appearing offline does not fucking stop! Fuck that nigga! Fuck that nigga! You never answered my question, can you see your dick? No, I can't. My name's Jordy. Dude, shut the fuck up, dude. You're a little kid. This is the last one. Fuck you! I don't give a fuck. I do not joke around. I don't give a fuck. I do not try to have fun. I do not try to laugh. I broke my control. I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Subscribers. I don't. I don't. I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. Give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about that nigga. You're never gonna donate. Get the fuck out of here. Somebody ban him. Oh my fucking lord, dude. Real talk. Who is a pussy? Why don't you stop? Why don't you stop being a troll? There's too many fucking trolls. I'm about to shut the stream down. Sub only mode, please. Sub only mode, please.
Fix that chair. Wish I had a better stream. Jordy drives Lamborghini. Jordy steals money from children. This is the reason I have trouble. This is the reason people kick me. All they fucking do is kick me. All they fucking do is kick me. Fuck that nigga. Welcome to band world. Welcome to band world. So stop giving fucking advice. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm not here to conversate, man. Fucking diggers better donate. Fucking diggers better donate. I just wish I had a better stream. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm not here to conversate, man. Fucking diggers better donate. Fucking diggers better donate. I just wish I had a better stream. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm not here to conversate, man. Fucking diggers better donate. Fucking diggers better donate. I just wish I had a better stream. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm not here to conversate, man. Fucking diggers better donate. Fucking diggers better donate. I just wish I had a better stream. You guys just don't understand like how often people fuck with me. It's not like that when I end the stream, people stop fucking with me. The money's slowly seeping out of it, and all I get is grief. Big up Liquid Richard. Big up Liquid Richard. My name is Richard. I hate streaming. The fact is, I'm I'm not a good streamer. I do this to try to milk the last little bit of my viewership. Uh, subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Shout out to my fellow finger sniffers and that boy Wings of Redemption's chair for holding it down. That's the real motherfucker. The OG back here. You fucking 
fucking dick sucker. I held my fat ass up since 2006 to 2016. These rap cats. Hip hop is not the same as yesterday. Look, 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 Is sucking our dick. Let's, let's. All women can cook, all women can clean. But you know women ain't shit if you know what I mean. Look here. All women are stupid, all women are dumb, and all they're good for is making me come. Let's, let's. So suck my dick and here's to your health. You fucking dick sucker! John Rakel is a bitch. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. You fucking dick sucker! John Rakel is a bitch. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. You fucking dick sucker! John Rakel is a bitch. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. You fucking dick sucker! John, quit being a bitch. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Quit being a bitch. Quit being a bitch. Dude, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, dude. You're a little kid. Everybody gets a man. Is there a mod in the room? What's up, everybody? It's that sweet pimp daddy. Big up, Liquid Richard. Shout out, Lord of the Wings. I really need this dick sucked. I really need this pussy. I really need this dick sucked. I wanted it so fucking bad. Look here. Look, look, listen. Pussy's not gonna slay it, sir. Not gonna slay it, sir. All day slay. All day slay. All day slay. Look here. Slay. Look, look, listen. Pussy's not gonna slay it, sir. Not gonna slay Hey, son. All day slay. All day slay. All day slay. I really need to make this fucking money. To make this fucking money. To make this fucking money. Best thing is a lifesaver. It's a big lifesaver. It's a big lifesaver. You got a rubber back. You got a rubber feet. You got a rubber kiss on her. Kiss on her. You got a rubber titty. Pussy. And then you gotta lay it down. You gotta lay it down. You gotta lay it down. And then you gotta lay it down. You gotta lay it down. You gotta lay it down. What I do is I just pick my stomach up and put it on their lower back. Son, your boy Jay's about to go up here and suck it. Son, your boy Jay's about to go up here and suck it. Sex is only fun for about the first two minutes. It's like a fucking hour and a half workout. Yesterday I had like 15 boneless dicks. Pussy's not gonna slay it, son. Slay it, son. All day slay. All day slay. All day slay. Look here! Slay. Look, look, listen! Pussy's not gonna slay it, son. Slay hey, son. All day slay. All day slay. All day slay. I really need to make this fucking money. To make this fucking money. To make this fucking money. Best thing's a lifesaver. It's a big guy. It's a big guy. <laughs> You know something is wrong with your fucking game. When the guy's like, I'm still a silver five, second pedal, pedal back, got the eyes full of trash, still the clear, still the bad, bitch, I wanna get me, try to cut the fucking feet back up. Shout out Sean Franklin. Hey, son. My name's Richard. I'm washed up, dude. I really need to make this fucking money. I've wanted it so fucking bad. <laughs>
My life is just waking up, being fucking fat, being fucking fat, being gay. All it is. Get the fire! All it is. Fire! I lost five subscribers on Blade Rainbow 6. I was struggling to keep 100 views. Struggling to keep 100 views. I'm almost at 300 views. On a game I fucking hate. On a game I fucking hate. It's a game I fucking hate. Cause I don't know how to fucking get subscribers. Shaggy, you don't even fucking subscribe. Just get the fuck out of here. Why the fuck do you do this shit, dude? Why the fuck do you do this shit, dude? Fuck you! I really need to make this fucking money. To make this fucking I'm a 450 pound dude that can barely fuck. My life can't get much worse. I don't give a shit if you watch or not. I am the real boy. I am the real boy. I am the real boy. Oh, come on! Fuck you! How the fucking fuck does a submachine gun beat the bar? Look how shit a guy in the corner is. Look how shit a guy in the corner is. Why? I am the real boy. I am the real boy. Oh, come on! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck, fuck, fuck you! Oh, come on! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck, fuck, fuck!